Hi, this is Jack Westman for ESCANews.com here in Dallas, Texas for the ESCA Season 10 Land Finals. Uh, joining me here is Steel and Frost from Team 3D Max who've got third at this event, knocked out by Zomblers in the lower bracket final. Uh, guys, you've kind of, it's just come to light basically this morning that you're dropping some man from the lineup uh, and replacing him with Mo. Is this news to you? News to me? What the hell did he hear about this? Um, oh, anyway, well, talk me through it. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we want to go to Copenhagen. Oh. <laughs> oh. We want to go to Copenhagen Games, which is next month uh, in April, and we just came from another European event. Justin couldn't make it, basically, to Copenhagen Games, so we had to make a move and pick someone else up, and, well, that's how it came to be. Simple as that. So, what made you... So is he entirely cut, or are, you, or are you just, you know, picking up a sixth temporarily? Is he gone for good? Will we see him back? I don't want to say we'll see him back per se. Like he's not cut. I mean, are you picking up Mo temporarily? Or? Well, the, the thing is, where, whoever we pick up for Copenhagen games, and in this case it's Mo, yeah. we need to practice for Copenhagen games. So Justin's playing out Sivo with us. He's not cut by any means. Okay. But I mean we're going to be playing with Mo for Copenhagen games and I mean I guess we'll see from there how it's going but he's not by any means cut he played well and he, he was still a huge asset to the team so okay sure um, well in that case if it's more of a straight roster change uh, why Mo of all the players that are trying to get into the invite division uh, what made you choose Mo over anyone else and I guess I'll go with Frost uh, I don't know we kind of just We've played with Mo for a while. He's kind of been a friend of ours, and uh, you know, just hanging around. But uh, <laughs> no, Mo has a lot of line experience, especially in the European scene. And we need another player to replace Justin. And uh, you know, Justin just couldn't make the commitment for this line, so we need to pick up another player. And uh, Mo headed to Europe. One, what line was it? And he has a lot of. Uh, I, I can for add what? something. Go for it. All right. So basically, Mo went to I think it was Land 79, and he completely just. Yeah obliterated uh, a lot of the European teams. He went with a pug squad and they placed fourth. So he's, he's played against Europeans, he knows their style, he's good against them. And basically we liked what we had with two ops. Neil and I can basically buddy system with rifles. And the good thing about it is he's not afraid to peak players, he's not afraid to execute a strat, he's not afraid to play against teams. He's yeah. got the confidence and he's got the um, uh, I guess the skill necessary and well experience but skill necessary to take down the European teams and I think that's what we need. Okay, sure. Uh, well, yeah, Mo definitely has one of the bigger personalities in the invite division, right? Uh, how will his... I don't know, it, it, it might seem to some as though he's pretty hot-tempered, right? So, him coming into the team, how does that affect the dynamic of the team as a whole, personality-wise? I can think of it as passion, huh? <laughs> Hot-headed. I would think Mo is more about, you know, it's more about passion for him, I guess. But uh, the way he approaches the game is uh, pretty, like, fearless. And it's, you know, a way that we kind of like and enjoy. He's not afraid to step up and make big shots. And he makes huge plays a lot of the time. And it's going to be interesting opping with him uh, and having Neil, you know, step down to the, or not step down, but, you know, switch to the rifle mostly. Uh, you know, having two ops is something that's always worked for us in the past. So uh, it's going to be fun getting back to that system, you know. Uh, do you want to add anything to that, Josh? I think I had something to say, but I might have just forgotten it. Okay, that's okay. Um, well, last question then. How does this affect your chances uh, in the standings at Copenhagen Games? Uh, you've been to Europe a couple of times before. You know, you've third place, right? Did you get second in uh, DS Rack? Uh, DS Rack, okay. Um, obviously, CK Ras have just folded. Very Games have changed a few players in recent months. Uh, you, of course, dropped uh, days after ESWC in Paris, picked up some man, now you're changing him for Mo. How is this new lineup going to fare against the European teams and possibly dynamic uh, that you're going to see in Copenhagen? Well, coming from one major European event and going to another one next month, like we didn't really change our, our strats to be, um, I guess, geared towards DX95 caliber play yeah. so I don't think this is a true um, measurement of our skill or capacity as a team I think ESWC was was better for that and I still want to say that we are third best in the world and I don't really want to 
take anything away from Bergen. They're still obviously strong. I don't know how much weaker or stronger they are with the new lineup. I don't know how TT Dragons are. I don't know with the new Mouse Sports or MTW rosters. Those are both, those are all new rosters basically. So it's going to be interesting to see how it pans out. And it's unfair to make predictions at this point. But we still have the four that we've been rolling with for quite a while. And we're going to have the um, op presence of, of Mo. And I guess what I wanted to add earlier was that uh, he, he only gets really, he's, he's hot-headed, but he only gets mad at like, team mistakes. Yeah. And we as a team don't really make many mistakes. We sometimes play sloppy, but every team does. They have a bad night, they have a bad day, whatever, they have a bad land. But I don't think that's going to be an issue with Mo. And I really see us, us making finals again at Copenhagen. Okay, sure. Uh, I actually have one more last question before we do shout outs. Uh, you guys, you won the last TSEA LAN. Uh, obviously, Dynamic have come back this time and reclaimed their crown. Will the addition of Mo, if you keep him long term, help you against them this time next season? Uh, I've, well, if you both want to have a go. Um, having Mo would definitely uh, help us compete with the two op setup of Dynamic. And, uh, you know, it's just going to be a different play style. I mean, we can't really tell what's going to happen, but, you know. We're always going to be a solid team, and uh, Dynamics always going to be a solid team. Um, this event, I can't really say that we played up to our usual standard. I felt like we really, you know, shot ourselves in the foot. It was more so uh, mistakes on our part than other teams. But uh, you know, credit goes out to them. They did well. This and Zombies did amazing this land, and they're long overdue for a good land. So uh, I think we'll be fine as long as we keep playing with our same roster. If DX81 is enforced, we'll win it. If DX95 is enforced, it's too unpredictable, just like at this event. And not to take anything away from Zomblers, they're a solid squad. It's just that we expect flashes to work and they just didn't. Yeah, okay. Uh, lastly but not least, shout outs, guys. Uh, yeah, shout outs to 3D Max for helping us get to this land and for the support. Sweet jerseys. Sweet jerseys. <laughs> Brian Rank Gaming. Um, Home base. Home base. John Michael Wilson, <laughs> right. aka Hunt. Um, any, any, anyone else? Um, not that I can think of. All right, no, we, that was, thanks to the community for supporting, thanks for the community for hating. <laughs> yeah, check the forums, yeah. yeah. Uh, Frost, thank you very much. Josh, thanks.